The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, you know, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Hey, uh, how you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Rhyme of Edge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Rhyme of Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 6648 Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Good morning. I'm Nico DeHaan, and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced and natural wild world. And that's right, to recover our natural health and regain our rights and our freedoms. And I'm Paige Clark. Good morning. And it's a beautiful morning in downtown St. Petersburg, 79 degrees, going up to 87. It's sunny, uh, probably a little shower in the afternoon. It's hot here. You and I have both been gone. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling it being back. Welcome so, back. Yeah, welcome back to you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we all had fun on vacation. Hope you guys have been enjoying your summer. Make sure and pick up our Health Signals newsletter. This comes to you, what, twice a month? Yeah, on the 1st and the 15th. 1st and, and the of course, 15th. Uh, yesterday this one came out, and we're going to talk about a lot of that that's on there. And uh -huh. want to remind people to uh, pick up the Primal Edge, our one-shot wonder. Over 310 organics, cell-ready liquid ingredients all made there to keep you healthy. And get the good stuff in. And, of course, eliminate the bad stuff. And give us a call if you're up and at it, 1-877-927-6648. Of course, we're on vacation, Paige, so we should talk know, a little bit about nice. that. Uh, yes. How was yours? I, mine was great. I actually, uh, you know, a lot of people said, hey, you didn't post pictures. That was part of my vacation. I mm -hmm. did a little De social mm -hmm. media detox. So yeah. It's kind of refreshing yep. to just actually enjoy what you're taking a picture mm -hmm. of and be there than worrying about whether or not you're getting it posted. And, yeah. and then people commenting and you having to answer where you are. I kind of wanted to be... Yeah, really and I did vacation. kind of the opposite because I've been off Facebook pretty much all year. Yeah, and, I, and you did a great job. You did videos yeah, with I your GoPro. Yeah, did little videos. Uh, we lost a few videos and some of the passes, but we had a great time. We spent four, uh, let's see, we went to Durango for two days. We went to Ure for two days and met my son in uh, Durango and went four-wheeling and over all the different passes there. A lot of them were snowed in, so we couldn't complete them, but it was just a blast and, you know, having a vacation with like my son. It. Yeah, exactly. And his family. So that was really awesome. Then we went to uh, Eagle mm -hmm. and spent two days with Mark Abel at Colorado Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. And I posted all the videos on uh, YouTube right. and on Facebook. So if you go to uh, YouTube, Nico DeHaan, uh, Nico DeHaan at uh, Facebook, you can find those things if you're interested in looking at it. Some of the passes were really amazing, slow crawling over there. And my son had his brand new Rubicon, it was actually his wife's, Tina's uh, Rubicon. And uh, the new Rubicons are kind of set up for doing this right, right out of the get-go. You don't really have to add anything where mine, I added some skid plates and, you know, winch and things like that. Uh, Colorado Bigfoot, amazing, showed us completely new areas. Uh, again, could not get to Bigfoot Universe. He's there now. Mm -hmm. In fact, last night he posted a huge video where they went past Bigfoot Universe and went through this area of two or three miles where there was nothing. Just on a hunch there was something there and he came into a whole new world. So people interested go to Colorado Bigfoot and watch his latest Mark video. Bell's. Mark Abel, his son, Colorado Bigfoot. Very good. It's, uh, that was really good. Then we got to see some family in Denver. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the ride, we went down to uh, Colorado Springs because Ben Davidson lives down there now. Yes. So we went to visit him and his wife, Kat, and the two children. And it was really nice. We went back to their home for a little while and chatted and really nice to bond with them again. Uh, after a few years, you know, we hadn't seen each other for a few years, and he's doing amazing things with, with suspicious, suspicious observers. observers. That's exactly right. I didn't <coughs> yeah. realize that you had already actually physically met him in person. Well, actually, a couple of years ago, I bought a, well, his first book, mm -hmm. The Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Right. And uh, he was in Clearwater to see his parents, or, pa or maybe her parents. I'm That's right. Sure. I remember he's got Yeah, and he uh, said, you mind if I come over and uh, get deliver the book? I said, no, what a great thing. Right. So then we had dinner together, and uh, it was just uh, just a nice gesture to do that. He's a uh, great guy. Family is great. And he's doing some amazing things on Suspicious Observer. Yeah, we should probably get him on the show. Uh, you know, that sometime. would be nice again. Yeah, he's if so busy. Can. But uh, he's, his conference next year is in August. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, 
uh, observing the frontier, and right. it's all about the sun and how the sun interacts with the earth. <clears throat> Uh, and uh, is so this conference go, out west? Yeah, it's out yeah. in Denver. Mm -hmm. oh, so okay. we're going to go out in Denver again, and this time we're gonna, it's going to be in August. So I'll be able to do an overnight with uh, Marka Bell. Nice. And do that overnight that I've been wanting to do. We just couldn't do it with so much snow up there. I mean, <laughs> really remarkable. Yeah, it's like uh, my and son in Tahoe. He's you know yeah, skiing the, into July. Yeah, the and local people said it seems like April to us instead of July. <laughs> that's so crazy. That's the way it was. Well, you know, I'll tell you. Um, as I said, I didn't really document things, but um, I went up to Martha's Vineyard. I saw that our founder here has been there a little bit. Yes. Martha's Vineyard, a great place. My daughter's sailing, living yeah. up there. <clears throat> Did it last summer, went back this summer. It's just beautiful. I really had never been to that part of the country. Spent about five days there and then crossed the big pond and, and uh, spent quite a bit of time in the Austria area and in the Austrian lakes. I was blown away by the color of the lakes in Austria. The water is just absolutely a most beautiful color of turquoise. It was just amazing. And, and you know, so I did a lot of my CT, getting in the cold water, and mm -hmm. worked on my foot. And uh, because the original plan was to go to south of France, but there was that heat wave, so we decided we'd stay in the Alps. So we yeah. went to the Italian Alps and went to the Laga de Garda area. Mm. And that was like being in south of France. It was sure. absolutely beautiful. And uh, we really enjoyed that. We stayed at a um, place called La Fay Resort and Spa. It was an amazing. overlook. Maybe if we can get some pictures, we'll, I can send them to you. I don't know if we can get them up. But if not, we'll yeah. share them another day. Yeah. We'll, we'll get organized. But anyways, we've got a lot of stuff to catch up. And um, it's, uh, it's been something to be gone this time. I think that's really part of getting restored and resting and we we well, thought that was a big part really of stuff break, still goes so on right yeah this <laughs> four-week break and uh, something probably i want to repeat next year it's uh it's a nice break and uh, i think of the bastille day was just the other day yeah i think of bastille day that's that six week beginning of their holiday and everybody uh pr pretty much in france in that area is on vacation till september well exactly and that's one of the things in europe they, they really have vacation three times a year for yeah. a month long right. versus the whole summer. So we were there at the perfect time in the month of June. Mm -hmm. June is the time to go there because yeah. all the kids are still in school, so the families are busy. It's but you get to into show you uh, mm -hmm. the lifestyle is so different that we're really overworked here. People need more breaks uh, than they do, and this is what the Europeans have learned because they've been in slavery for years too. You know, mm -hmm. And I mean slavery when we're forced to work for income. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And taxed. And taxed. Illegally, yeah. I, I believe. I, I believe that too. So <laughs> but let's talk about what's going on in the world still. Well, you we know? got a break coming up, so mm -hmm. let's set this one up. Uh, you know, I uh, did the Health Signals newsletters, and these are some of the things that I uh, flagged and decided to put in the newsletter so we could talk about it while we were here. And usually we do it the opposite way because the news comes so fast, we really never know what we're talking about. But I kind of like to have the thing in front of us. And talking about Roundup and the ingredients of Roundup in our food is one of the uh, well, really things that gets my goat. It really know. does because, quite frankly, we, we want to trust that organic food is safe mm -hmm. from glyphosate and it turns out that really a lot of these companies are not able to protect it due to yeah. the transference so we'll cover this when we come back from our break right so stick around folks we got a lot more and uh meanwhile please pick up our primal edge our one shot wonder and this is really something that uh, Paige and i helped develop just because it was missing out of our lives so pick it up and uh you'll be good we'll be right back be right back You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. You know, this is not exactly new news because we know that this awful chemical has been getting all through the food supply. Yeah, this was, the reason this came up now is because they did an actual test with these uh, exactly. ingredients and the test uh, pro proved positive. Yeah, Cheerios positive. and Nature Valley cereals are amongst the brands that contain Roundup ingredient as study finds. In fact, they tested 21 oat-based cereals and snack products such as Cheerios, and they tested positive for traces of glyphosate. And the chemical is the active ingredient in Roundup, which has been at the center of several trials alleging the weed killer causes cancer. And all but four of the products tested had glyphosate levels higher than what the Environmental Working Group considers to be safe. And I really wanted to put this out here, Nico, because there are so many parents that think these little cereals are healthy snacks for their kids. Yeah. Well, you and I would say not so much. You know, better snacks than... Well, I have a vivid memory of having Kellogg's uh, Cheerios because I like the taste of them. Mm -hmm. and they were very handy for my parents. They right. didn't have to feed me breakfast. And it was uh, just an easy thing and an uh, easy transition. I uh, grew up on cereal. Yeah, and yeah. if you realize how they manufacture this stuff, is this is high heat extrusion under high pressure. Uh, it's f not a good product to begin with, with because we're talking about a grain. And if it's a whole grain, that's maybe even worse than the stuff that they used to have the white grains and things right. like that because all the all the uh, protections are in there and those protections is remember it's a seed it's something that wants life and the plant protects it through chemicals so the animals won't eat it uh, and maybe they never considered that the stupid human would come along and say hey <laughs> uh, well probably it saved their lives it's a starvation food it's kind of like uh, spaghetti and kind of like uh, oatmeal and all these other yeah, things maybe that you put these kind of things on our shelf for for um a when the stuff I mean, hits it's almost the fan, as, but if you put the same ingredients, you can make play doh out of this stuff. It's kind of gross, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is where, uh, when we were over at Ben Davidson, the little kids were wanted to play play doh. So uh, Ellen and uh, Kat were making play doh, and they were making the white flour with the water and a little oil. And, mm -hmm. You know, it's the same thing, folks. It's not much different. Eat your play doh, and you'll get uh, just as healthy. Oh, as, that's so know. scary. And but, actually, these 21 products were of the General Mills brand. That's not to pick on General Mills, guys. What no, we're saying is it's all, if it's there, it's, it's pretty 
much in all of the food supply. And another thing that this brought out that I didn't, I didn't really know before, the, uh, the spraying of this also has another benefit to the farmer. It's not just that it's getting rid of the ingredients, but it's also a drying agent. That's exactly why they're doing it, Nico, because it actually makes the harvesting easier for the farmer, and That's there's right. no reason to do it really yeah. just for the weed killing. And, and we've we, got a question in here yeah. from Z. He says... Uh, glyphosate with your breakfast so oh, it's really good right <laughs> exactly right and and the question was is glyphosate uh, is it in the entire wheat supply I would say 99 percent for sure and, and not that's just the, the scary wheat. part I would say that uh, all the crops in the United States soy, soybeans and the corn uh -huh. those are the ones that are sprayed and the wheat of course those are the major and if you have the sorghum and the barley those things all get sprayed too remember it's not just about the pests anymore now they've got this different ingredient that helps dry the whole thing so it makes it easier for the farmer and this is what this is all about making it easier for the farmer to make large crops Right. This has nothing to do with the normal standard gardening techniques that we did on an individual basis. And not necessarily made to make the, the crop healthy or just actually turn that profit. And the farmers, that's not that that's their goal. Their goal is to make a living and well, provide they have food. To, no doubt but about it. unfortunately the way the United States farms, this just and this is the whole world become... farms this way now. So the environmental working group has been monitoring this and this is the latest report from the e EWG to detect these traces of glyphosate in cereal. What can you do? Well one of the things you can do is you can actually take our primal edge, you know, shameless bug right <laughs> here, because fulvic and humic are some substances that have um, shown to be helpful in binding like we say it gets the good stuff in and, and helps get the bad stuff out so it binds the bad stuff the glyphosate surrounds it and takes it out of your body kind of the way the carbon does in the activated charcoal exactly there's a binding the, yeah. the, the minerals have an intelligence to them secondly you guys have heard and in the newsletter uh, Nico gives you a link uh, Purium has a product, the only patented product to prove, not that there aren't other ones like the fulvic and primal right. edge, but the Biomedic is a product that has a uh, proof of binding and reducing glyphosate in the blood. It actually has a patent, the only product in, and you've got a coupon in our newsletter if you would like to try that product. I pretty much want people to either be on the primal edge or the Biomedic to help reduce this load because Folks, even if you're trying to buy organic at home, our organic suppliers are having a hard time protecting their crops from the wind blow of these pesticides. There's no doubt. It's probably in everything we mm -hmm. have. And, and you eat out in a restaurant, I'm guaranteeing you, they're not checking their supply. Sure. You know? And uh, I must, must say that when we went out west, the food out west is so much different. I mean, we have good food in Florida. We have in the Gulf. Uh -huh. That supplies us with some good food too, but it's, and we have great beef in Florida, but it's not the same as the cold weather beef, I say. <clears throat> when animals go through winters, they have a much hardier type of uh, meat in them, I think. Uh, uh, you wait to you go over to Austria. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I can tell you about Austria, yeah. it is absolutely just gorgeous. I think yeah. it's so under promoted. Well, those valleys are so secluded in a way. Too. And yeah, and everything's pretty much farm to table, but you know, there's a scent in the air, and the scent is manure mm -hmm. and that's because they do not allow artificial chemicals there. Yeah. and they reuse the manure for fertilizing they turn the crops yeah. and, and we saw the that uh, too alongside of the road as, as we went into the hill country mm -hmm. where the smaller farms as we see people using those types of practices instead of when you go through Kansas uh, and you see those huge huge fields which uh, I would say 70 percent of those were not planted uh, across yeah, the west no, no it's it's I mean, because of the grand solar minimum, uh, or if it's a grand solar minimum, maybe it's just the minimum. Uh, the minimum is really uh, r uh, raising havoc on, you know, planting and, of course, now the flooding, too. So all these things play a big role in how we perceive, uh, you know, how we get our food. It uh, has to do with the weather. So I think planting on an individual level is going to become more and more important. And then you won't have to put up with this because, because I guarantee if you're going to plant a garden, you're not going to make Cheerios. No, and you exactly are not. And, no, and you're going to make can... uh, uh, some food that the, the rabbits like in your area. You're going to make uh, kind of uh, the herbs probably, which are mm -hmm. still wild, which mm -hmm. are really healthy. And the vegetables that come out of your garden are going to be healthy too. And in Florida, they just passed the law saying that when times gets tough, if you want to plant in your front yard, 
maybe not in uh, the homeowners' communities, but uh, the law says now that you can plant a garden in the front yeah. yard here. We should so be they able know to grow. something is We coming. should be able to grow our own food, exactly. And yep. just for the record, the two highest levels of glyphosate that were detected were Honey Nut Cheerios Medley Crunch and Cheerios. And these parts, as we said, were at levels not safe for children, not safe for any humans. And my recommendation is really don't eat cereal at all. Exactly, and that's what we've been saying for years, even before this whole thing came. Yep. But as many of you know now, a California jury has awarded a couple two billion in punitive damages after concluding that the sustained exposure to Monsanto's popular Roundup weed killer led to their cancer diagnoses. And uh, if you, you know, you probably hear about the lawsuits. The lawyers are are looking for cases, but you need to be a farmer, agricultural worker. You know, if you were just a weekend warrior in your yard and you used yeah. Roundup, which all of us did, uh, that those are not the cases they're taking, but it's still risks. Minimize yeah. your exposure and to this course, toxic ingredient. And of course, you know, Ma Monsanto now is, is owned by Bayer. Owned course. by Bayer to kind of diffuse the stuff. But we're going to talk about how someone says, they like to trick us. We'll talk about that when we get back. Yeah, that's for sure. Stick around, folks. We'd like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And welcome back. So we're going to do a little switcheroo here because we were talking about the glyphosate and uh, how... Well, and, and this is a perfect transition because we have a comment that uh, I guess these people who rule us uh, would like a shorter lifespan. They found a cute trick talking <laughs> about adding the glyphosate. Well, 
You know, you almost wonder if there isn't always a strategy. And I wanted to share this article mm -hmm. because it's kind of exactly on that point. And it's called Why You've Never Heard of the Mayo Clinic's Raw Milk Cure. Of course, raw milk is something that's not allowed in the United States. Correct. Except for pets. Although it was everywhere. Probably many of you may remember. I actually remember um, having a milk box on my porch and the milk got delivered. But sometime in the early turn of the century, they had a big situation where they said, oh, milk is unsafe. Well, that's true in some of these big milk farms. But what about when we used to buy our milk from the small farmer and he took care of his cows? This was not an issue. So my, my point is, was pasteurization really uh, designed to keep us safe from danger of unpasteurized milk? Um, or was it a move to protect the drug industry? And let's, let's go on. Well, my, my personal opinion, uh, I think it started with the uh, advent of these larger companies, which means you have to keep the milk longer, so now you have to have some kind of sterilization because uh, milk uh, by itself will start to go deteriorate. Actually, not true. Well, uh, it will, uh, raw it, milk will last three weeks, um, but, but past, this, pasteurized lot, milk will be bad in four days. That's right. Mm -hmm. But pasteurized milk uh, has set a standard for the manufacturing so they could keep it longer than the four weeks and the five weeks. This mm -hmm. was all done again, and this is why I think this is important. It's the same thing as the glyphosate thing. They're doing it not for our health. They're doing it for the release, the selling, and distribution of it. Well, and then let's add another point that and I then, want to add into yes. this article because, listen to this, in the early 1900s, Mayo Clinic, probably the most prestigious medical center in our country, uh, Mayo Clinic doctors were curing just about every single disease under the sun with just one simple medicine, raw, grass-fed cow's milk. It's probably two things. Learn yeah. why Big Pharma and Big Dairy don't want you to know about the milk cure. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. They were sitting the people on the front porch in the sun. At those solariums. With the milk. Sanitarium. So it's the two yeah. things. Sun. It's the milk and the sun. And what do we do now? We tell people to slather themselves with a bunch of chemicals to mm -hmm. keep the sun off their skin. And we tell them they're going to die if they drink raw milk. And mm -hmm. I tell you, you know, um, I don't drink milk. I love milk. Um, and I like milk from a raw grass-fed cow. Yeah. And so <clears throat> I'm not a proponent of store-bought milk, but let's go on. Um, in the 1920s, the Mayo Clinic's Dr. J.R. Crew wrote about an, uh, the miraculous healing powers and abilities of raw grass-fed milk. And the protocol for his milk cure was simple. Put patients on bed rest and feed them nothing but a couple of gallons of milk a day. So while some of you may be thinking this sounds like a recipe for a severe case of, you know, lactose intolerance or whatever, um, consider that the milk he was speaking of is nothing like the kind we find in the grocery stores today, That's Nico. For sure. you know? And probably uh, maybe they were using from a, a different type of cow also. Remember the difference between the type 1 and the type 2 cows. That well, you unfortunately, the rest of the world has the A2 cows, and America is really populated with the A1. And, again, and the, A1 the reason for that is because they grow faster and fatter. It's all about the money, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. And so really what you want to do is find a grass-fed A2 cow, guys, and we'll, we'll teach you more about the A2. Yeah, so for more than 16 years, I have conducted a small sanitarium where milk is used exclusively in the treatment of various diseases. The results have been so regularly satisfactory that I have naturally become enthusiastic and interested in this method of treating disease. We use the... Uh, Good Guernsey milk. Equal to 700 uh, calories to the quart. So he was eating a full fat milk with the Guernsey cows. Guernsey cows and um, Jersey cows tend to be more A2 cows, right. typically speaking. But um, it was actually a 1929 article that he wrote, uh, this is Dr. Crew, that the milk cure became the subject of two subsequent books and quoted an earlier medical textbook of the day suggesting he was not the only doctor of his time using milk as medicine. And, and that has been the case that I have found out in my research. Yeah, you know? and Crew and his colleagues used milk to cure and treat countless conditions, including tuberculosis, cancer, heart disease, kidney disease, and diseases of the nervous system, diabetes, uh, anemia, obesity, and underweight patients. Diseases A to Z. And let's talk about what really this is. I want to paint this picture for you. We are solar machines, and cows eat grass, and cows have the stomach to extract the nutrition from the grass, unlike us. We really don't have the stomach That's to right. 
to extract nutrients from grass. So the grass collects the solar, and the cow processes it for us and makes a very healthy substance for us that to works. get the solar energy. So, and uh, this is, I really want to um, share this to you. Striking results are seen in diseases of the heart and kidney and those with high blood pressure, he wrote. Patients with cardiac disease respond splendidly without medication. Now, there was one patient that reduced from 325 pounds to 284 pounds in two weeks on four quarts of milk a day, while her blood pressure was reduced from 220 to 170. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so he goes on and on. Another patient had advanced cardiac and nephritis disease, lost over 30 pounds of edema in wow. six weeks. And he, um, he spoke of some of the worst cases of psoriasis he'd ever seen. Um, there was a little boy that was basically covered in the plaques, and they put him on a milk diet, and in less than a month, he had skin like a baby's. Yeah, and another thing that's really bad for your skin are those cereals. I mean, that's the worst thing you can get. You take your kids off of that, and probably they won't go through the acne period as much. Right. Yeah, and so, you know, it goes on and on about people from healing, and I use, I drink my raw milk when I had my ankle mm -hmm. injury, and I will tell you, my surgeon said I healed as well and as fast as anyone at any age. Yeah, we, we were on a farm for quite a while when we first came to the United States, and uh, we had the milk right from uh, the doctor who was had the cows, and uh, I remember when I turned uh, and I got into puberty, and of course at that time we had moved and everything like that, and that's when I really didn't like milk. My mother kept forcing me to drink milk, and as soon as she stopped doing that, I quit drinking milk, and really haven't touched it since. I just uh -huh. don't like the taste of it, and maybe that was the experience from you know the real good milk, and all of a sudden I was uh -huh. uh, had the bottled milk. Um. This, is, this should get the attention of uh, men and women alike. Uh, Cruz said he has even had a number of patients who use the raw milk fast as a beauty treatment. The tissues become firmer and the general appearance is markedly improved. And, the, and um, it's well known that there's no time in the life of practically any mammal, but especially of the human, when the body is so beautiful and as perfect as during the period when milk is the only food. And also you can probably take a bath in it. Well, Cleopatra did. Yep. Cleopatra took raw milk bath. So what I do when I feel like my milk is starting mm -hmm. to, it's still good because mm -hmm. it actually just turns into clapper, which right. then goes into your yogurt and kefirs. Um, I just take a milk bath. Okay. So I use, you know, the rest of my gallon. And it's really funny because a couple years ago, I was doing what I'm, I'm getting ready to start again is, um, you know, Ray Pete's a big fan of milk. Mm -hmm. And Ray Pete's a biologist that I think has a lot of brilliant information on energy and regenerative health. And I was drinking milk, and I can remember that within two weeks, I felt a real glow to my skin. There's natural hormones in milk that we probably need, especially as we get older. So how about it, guys? You know, maybe uh, the raw milk here was getting in the way of the pharmaceutical industry that was just about to blossom. What do you think? Yeah, and this it wasn't in the newsletter. We kind of got off track. Maybe. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah. We threw it in there. We'll yeah. be back after this short break. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South 
African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific iSell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And we just finished up with our conversation on the raw milk cure. For those of you who want more information on how you might be able to get raw milk for your family, you can go to rawmilk.com. Or you may want to check the Weston A. Price Foundation. They have a lot of information on that. Yep. So you might want to go there. More stuff in our food and Yeah, the FDA air. confirms the PFAS chemicals are in the U.S. food supply. And these are kind of plastic fluoride types of chemicals. They're, uh, There's that chemical again, fluoride, that yeah. nasty monster. Yeah. Not designed for uh, health. They're part of a family of nearly 5,000 synthetic chemicals that are extremely persistent in the environment and in our bodies. Uh, PFAS uh, chemicals includes chemicals uh, known as PFOS and PFOA and Gen X, sometimes called for forever chemicals. chemicals. That should give you a clue. These chemicals all share signature element bonds of fluorine and carbon, which are extremely strong, difficult to break down in the environment and in our bodies. Uh. And of course, the EPA says clean water access is the biggest environmental threat, despite these regulations have been rolled back just recently in the last year. Yeah, because these chemicals are pretty much um, everywhere, and they can easily migrate into the air, dust, food, soil, and water, and they can accumulate in the body. And they've been linked to adverse health impacts, including liver damage, thyroid disease, decreased fertility, high cholesterol, obesity, hormone suppression, and cancer. Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the reason for this is these chemicals primarily settle in the blood, kidney, and the liver. These, of course, are, are uh, straining uh, uh, organs. Or filtering they're, they're filter, organs. Filtering Correct. organs. And they try to keep us clean. But when they're inundated with these chemicals, these chemicals actually can bind inside these organs, which really causes a big problem. And this is why you have things like cancer down the road when you have a, an abundance of these. And where are you finding these guys? You're finding them because uh, these chemicals have been used by various industries because of their ability to repel oil and water. They've been manufactured since the 40s. You might find them in your non-stick pans. Not a good idea to use non-stick pans, guys. Right. Stains, paints, cleaning products, food packaging, and firefighting flames, equipment. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, again, we, we need binding agents. You've heard Nico and I talking about uh, charcoal. We've talked about cleansing, things, natural herbs and so forth that bind chemicals. Um, apple citrus, apple pectin is a, is a great mm -hmm. binder of chemicals. I like. You'll find your fruits have those nice dark pigments in them that really will help get rid uh -huh. of these things. But they're in everything, so it really becomes a uh, chore for us to be constantly detoxing, and this is why we recommend using heat, uh, infrared, far infrared, using cold therapy. Breaking a sweat every day, like Matthew McConaughey says. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Uh, exercise is, becomes more important because this will help you get rid of some of these uh, chemicals. 
for sure. Right, and then using products like our Primal Edge is designed with the full vacuumic, which it has that intelligence to realize if if a if a chemical is a friend or a foe. That's right. You know, so um, you know these are things we just want you to be aware of, and this is why we're 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 suggesting that you use some of these things. So the researchers analyzed 13 samples from a dairy farm, including water, animal feed, and five actual. Uh, milk samples. Mm -hmm. All 13 samples had detected the uh, levels of this product that is similar structure that they use in the firefighting f foam. So this was already in there and the FDA said the samples were determined to be a health concern and all milk from a farm sh was discarded. So this was in the milk too. The FDA noted that after the cows were no longer exposed to these chemicals in the water or the feed, the accumulation of the chemicals can remain in the cow. Just 30 days of eating and containing uh, contaminated food would require about a year and a half of the cow to get rid of it in the chemicals. Oh, well, that's about so, like what's going on with us. That's you know? right. It takes many, many uh, months and years sometimes to get rid of this out of it uh, if you do it uh, on a slow method. If you start using some of the primal edge and things like that, you're going to have much better results. Mm -hmm. because now you're binding these chemicals. But for it to naturally get out of your body, it takes a long time. Absolutely. Well, I think, uh, I think the, the whole thing is, is that we have to be aware that regardless of whatever you do, the best laid plans of eating healthy food are still at risk because of the environment. Yeah, and the agency that's testing this uh, tested 91 samples of food collected as part of the FDA's two 2017 total diet study. The study is an ongoing FDA program that monitors about 800 contaminants. Amazing, we have 800 contaminants to worry about and nutrients that are on the average in the average U.S. diet. As part of this program, the FDA Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition buys prepares and analyzes about 280 different foods and beverages across the country every year, four times a year, they say. Hmm. So they're busy doing this stuff, but they don't seem to be coming up with any kind of regulation to get rid of this stuff, saying, you know, yeah, this stuff is bad, but uh, I guess the economy is doing well. Maybe it's okay. Hmm. I don't know. Well, it's things to watch. Well, I think we kind of covered a lot of that. I'm, I, I'm thinking maybe we want to cover another article, but I think Let's really... Let's go. We've got lots of stuff in here. Yeah, I, want to talk about. I thought this was interesting. Speaking of Europe, I was over there. I thought this was yep. really great. Doctors in Belgium recommend jail time for parents who raise their kids on a vegan diet. <laughs> so. You know, let's think about this. Um, maybe, maybe this government actually has something right here. They're they're concerned that if you eliminate some of these important food groups of uh, animal proteins and fats, perhaps this is not in the best interest of your child. And I was kind of interested to say I think they might have a have a point. Um, is this vegan movement? Um, and I best describe my thing as I'm a Pedetarian, Western Pricer, I think most foods we can eat, but we have to have some balance there. And there's certainly a lot of foods that are, have a lot of anti-nutrients. But in Brussels, doctors in Belgium have called for parents who raise their children as vegans to face possible prosecution after a number of deaths in schools, nurseries, and hospitals. How about that? Royal Academy of Medicine of Belgium published a legal opinion Thursday that could influence future court judgments. The opinion said it was unethical to subject children to the diet because it did not include animal proteins and vital amino acids that can help grow and prevent health problems. They said the diet could only be made safe for children if uh, complemented with medical supervision, regular blood tests, vitamin supplements, which most parents were not qualified to provide. And that's a very good point. A lot of people are pursuing a vegan lifestyle, uh, most many of them out of uh, kind of a uh, reverence for animal life mm -hmm. and sanctity. Sure. However, they really have to understand that they need to make some adjustments there. You know, in terms <laughs> of getting, yeah, they? getting, getting the B vitamins and necessary amino acids to produce well, a healthy the, body. The, uh, it's well known that a vegetarian or vegan diet does not provide you with total nutrients. There mm -hmm. is, there are some things that you can't possibly get from plants. And beside the fact that most of the things that we do get from plants that work pretty well only work about 20% of the value that the meat would do. With meat, we absorb just about everything, very little waste. With plants, there's fiber in 
in there that we don't digest. There's really questions whether this is healthy or not. Uh, we've talked about that extensively the last couple of years. Uh, I do very well on uh, mostly 90% or 95% meat with very little else. Uh, it seems like uh, it's much easier, and certainly when we were traveling out west, with the quality out there, we were doing really well. And uh, we noticed that uh, the people who were eating with us and uh, around us were eating all the stuff we don't eat, plus what we ate. Right. So it really brings to mind that we're eating a lot less and doing just as well, getting all the vitamins and nutrition that we need from a percentage, maybe 20% of what normal people eat. It's amazing. It I'm works certain really well. you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Think or Swim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. So we have a couple of things in the chat room. Uh, first thing, tell us about uh, POTUS executive order out last week requiring less testing of new GMOs under the development. What this actually is is that they're... A all, boost to biotech. What they're doing is uh, asking the companies to test themselves to save money. So the FDA, so they fired a bunch of FDA regulators and say now the company themselves can test self-policing self well I don't I don't think that the FDA ever had our best interest the FDA even though they fired them <clears throat> uh, the FDA people who have their pockets lined with money so that they they're a revolving no door between government yeah. and the FDA so and so now instead of an independent agency which may not be so independent and I agree with that is now we're going to just police ourselves which uh, is not mandatory by the way it's just they're gonna well we'll have to see I think really yeah. what it comes down to is that we have to become empowered ourselves and know that we don't want to have and that's these always foods. the case and, the, the and, and fight for the labeling but I also want to emphasize this that um, I know that 
President Trump is working to support the American farmer and protect us from a lot of infiltration of Chinese food, like the chicken that's going from here well, to China. Chinese bought so many. And so I, much I think that that's probably a good move. I, I think that we may not be, you know, we've covered a number of times mm -hmm. some of the food that was coming in, the, the shrimp that was coming back in from Asia that was injected with silicone to look bigger mm -hmm. so that they would get. Yeah. And so I, I think if we can produce our own food at home, it's better. I think he's a big fan of. Made in the USA, and I think that might be better for our health. Yeah, we still have to nights. use our own caution. So the last uh, question was amount of all food genetically modified. Well, I say all the grains, and uh, I'd say 90 percent of the vegetables in the United States are all genetically mm -hmm. modified mm -hmm. or sprayed heavily. So I'm not so sure thing. that some. You know, some genetic modification may not be harmful to us, like mm -hmm. maybe just brands of. No, the kind it's of. It's crossbreeding of plants, but when we're when we're crossbreeding. You know, when we're crossbreeding a plant and a fish, I don't well, think that's going to be Well, I don't think they've good. done that yet, but the, what they have is they've taken different species and taken an attribute from a crab and put it into a fish so it'll grow a lot faster. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, this is all done with farmed fish naturally, which makes them unhealthy, of course. Uh, so the whole food situation, I wouldn't trust the FDA, I wouldn't trust anybody with the handling our food except yourselves and the farmer you may know. So know that's, your that's, farmer, yeah. know where you get your food. Yeah. And I don't think the administration is doing anything to help us on that at all because they don't even eat, they eat packaged food mostly. So uh, I don't think their interest is uh, our interest. But that's beside the point. So we want to talk about uh, this uh, 2,000 steps a day, I think.